Hello, my name is David. I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining Storytime with the Carl, our weekly read aloud series. Today, we'll be sharing one of my favorite books from 2020, The Old Truck by Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey. Big thanks to Norton Young Readers for giving us permission to share this beautiful, beautiful book. One of the things that I love about this book is how much of the story is told in the pictures. So let's put on our story time goggles. And as we read, let's use our eyes to look carefully at the pictures and help to tell the story. On the cover, we see old red truck in a field, a big field of flowers. And on the back of the truck, there's a little girl sitting on the back of the truck with pigtails. The Old Truck by Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey. And we can see that some of those flowers from the cover, and it looks like there's a building under construction. Hmm. There's the red truck. And we can see there's a farmer carrying a big piece of wood, some lumber from the back of the truck to this building, maybe they're building a barn. And here we see there's a woman picking flowers. Her belly looks beautifully round. I wonder if there's a baby in there. The Old Truck by Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey. see the barn from before, but now it's red, right? And we see the farmers from before. And now there's a little girl too. Hmm, maybe she's their daughter. What are they doing? Yeah, they're carrying baskets full of apples from the barn and loading up the truck with fruits and vegetables from their farm, on a small farm, an old truck worked hard. The old truck worked long. Now what's the family doing? Yeah. They're carrying the baskets back to the barn and now all the baskets are empty. What do you think they did with all the food? Here's the mom. What's she doing on the farm? Feeding the chickens. And there's dad over here working on the truck. And there's the little girl in the back of the truck looking kind of tired. The old truck grew wary and tired. So the old truck rested. And dreamed. There's the old truck covered in snow. We can see it through the window. And there's the little girl. She's in her bed all cozy and sleeping. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Maybe her truck. What did the old truck turn into? A fishing boat? Whoa. The old truck sailed the seas. And there's the little girl trailing along in her bathosphere. Now 
now what did the truck turn into? Something way high up in the clouds. A blimp? There's a little girl piloting the blimp and looking through her binoculars at the mountains. The old truck braved the sky. chased the stars. Where's the truck now? On the moon. Yeah. It looks like a, a lunar rover. And now the girl is an astronaut collecting moon rocks in her wagon. Now where's the truck? back on the farm. But the old truck grew older. Looks like the little girl has grown up a little older too. She's working on her bike. We can see the dad working on the tractor, and the mom feeding the chickens. They were so busy. And the truck grew older. There it is in the flowers. And now look, the little girl is even older too. Now she's helping her dad fix the tractor. And older still. Oh, can you see the truck? There it is covered in the weeds. And look, now the girl is so grown up, she's working on the tractor all by herself. Oh. The farm is covered in snow. Where did the truck go? Can you find the truck in this picture? Hmm. Is it hiding in the snow? There it is. Except what's different about it? Yeah, now the truck is brown and rusty. It used to be bright red. And there we see the farmer, the girl all grown up, and she's using the tractor to tow that truck out of the weeds. Maybe it doesn't run so well anymore. On a small farm, a new farmer worked hard. The new farmer worked long. There she is in her barn working late at night. It looks like she's taken some parts out of the truck, maybe the engine, and she's working on it. Oh, now what's she doing? What's she done? Yeah, she's taken the old door off. She's taking the old wheels off the truck. It's a lot of work. The new farmer grew wary and tired. But she dreamed and persisted. Now what's she doing? Look, she's putting on a new blue door and putting on some new wheels. And it looks like she's even fixed the engine and is putting it back under the hood of the truck. Vroom! She fixed the truck and now it's ready to go. Chickens look pretty excited too. Uh, 
I wonder where she's gonna go in that truck. Hmm. Hmm. On a small farm, an old truck worked hard. Hmm. This looks a lot like the picture that we saw at the very beginning of the book. You can see the old truck is shiny red again. And there's the farmer all grown up, carrying some apples to the back of the truck. And look who's sitting on the back of a truck. There's another little girl. I wonder if that's her daughter and if she's gonna grow up and help take care of the farm. Hmm. One of the things I love about this book is how it uses something seemingly simple, right? Like this truck to tell a story about really huge themes like time and family and hard work and home. And the creators of this book, Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey, they're brothers and you can see their pictures on the inside flap they created this book together and they wrote, our grandmothers exuded grit and determination. Our great grandmother bought her own farm in Louisiana with the money she'd earned picking cotton. And that farm is still in their family. And Jarrett and Jerome live in Austin, Texas, and they are continuing to make new picture books. I am so excited for the sequel to The Old Truck. It's called The Old Boat, and it comes out from Norton Young Readers in just a couple of weeks. If you're interested, I've included a link um, to learn more about the sequel uh, in the event description. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing your stories. We hope you'll join us for our next story time. In the meantime, be well. Bye.